Welcome to the Carolinas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers Virtual College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. Each will have six minutes to share more about their institution, but will be around for the entire session to answer questions. My name is Nashira and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. This is just one of many different sessions happening today, so be sure to check out the schedule on the website. This presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com forward slash Carolinas. Now, I'd like to turn it over to our first presenter, Durham Technical Community College. Hello, everyone. My name is Ariel Beaman, and I serve as the Student Recruitment Coordinator here at Durham Tech. All right, so let's get to know Durham Tech. Here's a picture. All right, Durham Tech is a growing institution in North Carolina serving more than 18,000 students annually and across seven campuses across Durham and Orange counties while providing various online courses. Then the mission of Durham Tech Community College is to ensure that all students develop knowledge, skills, and networks in order to be successful in work and in life. Now, what is there to do in the RDU area? So we have museums, we have a lemur farm, we have theaters, Frankie's amusement parks, we have hiking trails and a few malls. And here are some of our students enjoying some festivities on campus. All right, now some may ask, how can I enter Durham Tech? So you can enter as a new student, health tech student, visiting student, dual enrolled student, or continuing education student. All right. Now at Durham Tech, we have seven guided pathways. Now Durham Tech has seven guided pathways as announced, and we focused on um, different areas of interest for our students. So building engineering and skilled trades, business and entrepreneurship, creative and liberal arts, health and wellness, human services, IT and science and math. All right, now guided pathways help Durham Tech students transition to new programs, and it also helps to reduce potential credit loss. All right, CCP. Now CCP courses are for North Carolina students, um, it's free tuition, um, also helps students jumpstart their career. All right, college pathway. Now what do you need to do? What is the criteria? How can I join? How can I get in? be a high school junior or senior, 2.8 GPA, and demonstrate college readiness. All right, now for the career tech education pathways, how can I get in? Must be a high school student, junior or senior, that 2.8 GPA and demonstrate college readiness as well, or have a written recommendation from a principal. Now, what are my options after graduation? Very, very small list of our programs um, but we wanted to get everything on one slide, but we have a list of programs. All right, we have something called Durham Tech Promise. So we're here to help you save money. Now with the Durham Tech Promise, recent high school graduates in Durham and Orange counties receive up to $1,000 each year. Now for credit programs, um, disbursements are made in $500 payments per semester, and then non-credit as well. Disbursements will cover tuition and fees up to $1,000 per year. All right, some student resources. We offer counseling, food, financial assistance, uh, housing support, tax assistance, and so much more. We also have a single parent program, which I love at Durham Tech. So if you're a single parent and you need a little assistance, Durham Tech is here to help. Okay, not only do, you, do we want you to go to class, we want you to be well acclimated with the campus and faculty and staff. So we want you to get involved as well. So here are a list of our clubs and organizations that we provide here at Durham Tech. All right. Now, earn a degree, diploma, or certificate. What do I do first? First, you choose a program that fits your interests or your goals, complete an application, complete residency, schedule a connect session, apply for financial aid, submit official transcripts, proof of placement, and meet with an advisor. 
All right. Now, why Durham Tech? Of course, why not? Now, uh, cost efficient students can transfer uh, credits to a four year institution, personalize attention. We have small classroom size sizes, so you get that one on one attention um, and transfer agreements. All right, and once again, my name is Ariel Beeman. I serve as the student recruitment coordinator for Durham Tech and listed is my information. Thank you all. I hope you have a good one. Thank you, Durham <clears throat> Technical Community College. We will now have Alamance mm -hmm. Community College. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Stephanie Garçon, and I am the outreach recruiter at Alamance Community College. So some things you ought to know. Um, well, the first thing is that our mascot is the otter, and we adopted that because behind the tree line that is in our main campus, we have the Hall River. So we spotted some otters, and we adopted the mascot a couple years ago. ACC has been around since 1958, and we were actually the first institution of its kind in our area. Um, in the beginning, we had around 15 programs available, but now we are uh, proud to say that we offer more than 41. And of course, ACC is fully accredited to be able to award you associates in arts, associates in science, associates in applied science, and of course, engineering as well. Something very important about Alamance Community College is that we are an open door college. That technically means that we are able to cater to high school students, to high school graduates, um, and we also have the early college or career and college promise, uh, the dual enrollment program. We also have options for students that are interested in completing a GED, getting an adult high school diploma, or taking um, ESL classes. We also have a continuing education department that we also uh, like to call workforce continuing education. Here, uh, professionals are able to um, get smaller courses or other certificates that get um, specialized education. Of course, we have the curriculum programs that include Associates in Arts, Science, Associates in Applied Science, Diplomas, and Certificates. Also, we have the opportunity of serving international students, and our admissions application is 100% free. We do not have an admissions essay requirement, nor do we require SAT or SAT test scores. However, these, um, if you have taken the test, is strongly advised that you um, send them to the admissions office. Now, the admissions process for high school students that are just uh, about to graduate will be very simple. The first thing that you need to do is to complete the North Carolina Residency Determination Application. This step is mandatory for all students in North Carolina that would like to enter a higher education institution. The second one would be to submit your ACC application, which is uh, directly connected to the North Carolina residency through the website of the College Foundation of North Carolina. You can find the application once you go to the ACC uh, website and you click apply now. The third one would be to apply for financial aid. And this one, I uh, strongly advise you that even if you think that you will not qualify for financial aid, still please apply because you might be able or might be eligible for um, getting scholarships. And the fourth one will be to submit your official high school or college transcript in the case that you have received any um, college credit uh, in the past. The fifth one will be to determine placement it is um, determine placement testing is necessary and complete the uh, student online orientation session, make an appointment with your advisor and then uh, register for class. Now, compared to other institutions around the area, um, four-year universities have a tendency to be a lot more expensive than a community college would be. So uh, compared to other institutions in the area, the ACC average two-year tuition would be around $3,708. So you would be saving um, all of this money that you see on the screen compared to other universities. Now, for those of you who are in, um, in 
10th or 11th grade, you could definitely apply to be uh, within the Career College Promise, which is our dual enrollment uh, program. You have to have at least a 2.8 uh, GPA, demonstrate readiness in reading, writing, and math. And of course, after you start taking college level classes at ACC, you would have to maintain a 2.0 GPA. Now, for those of you who might um, be thinking or, or family members that have uh, students that are in middle school ready to transition from eighth to ninth grade, you could definitely uh, um, inquire with the ABSS uh, school system here in Amos County about the early college option. That would technically mean that simultaneously, while the student is working towards getting a high school diploma, the student uh, can also take college credits and graduate with an associate's uh, degree. Now we have two option pathways and the first one would be the university transfer pathway under which we have eight uh, different associates degree uh, pathways those include associates in arts and engineering visual arts that include music and uh, visual arts associates in science and associate in uh, nursing. Now for the career technical education pathways, we um, have everything that you will see on screen from accounting, from biotechnology, business and marketing, computer integrated machining, welding, uh, automotive, cosmetology, anything that you can think of, and you'll be able to get an associates in applied science. We have three major divisions at ACC, and the first one will be the business arts and sciences. Everything that you would see on the screen would be a part of this division, and you would get a course, depending on what you're applying for, um, a specialized advisor. The second division that we have will be the health and public services division, and everything that you would see screen uh, would be a program that you're able to get a full degree, uh, diploma, or certificate on. This uh, semester, actually, we're proud to say that the emergency medical services um, degree was accredited to us, and we are able to guide you if you would like to become an EMT or a paramedic. Now, the uh, last um, information, um, I'm sorry, the last um, division that we have would be the industrial technology side, and everything that you would see in screen would be part of that uh, division. These are all the 16 public universities in North Carolina, and you, of course, have a seamless transition if you decide to be part of the university transfer program. We, we definitely have multiple academic support um, advices for you. So we have a single stop trio and we are military friendly. All of these uh, services are also available for all students and the community. We have more than 30 uh, clubs and organizations on campus, and you're definitely uh, able to become part of the Student Government Association or become an ambassador. If you would like to a closer look, please uh, just take a, a quick picture of the screen, or if you would like to uh, see what ACC is about, you can do a tour virtually. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alamance Community College. We will now have Salem College. Salem College, you might be on mute still. So sorry about that. Um, okay, so small private liberal arts institution. We're in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. We're all women's um, and we have a health leadership focus, which I'll explain later. Um, about 800 undergrad students, 12 to one student to faculty ratio and an average class size of around 11. Um, so liberal arts is focused on undergraduate populations and the great thing about liberal arts um, as a foundation is that you can go into almost any field um, and become a future student at many grad um, programs, med school or other specialty programs um, after you graduate. If you're undecided, that's completely okay. We'll give you the resources to make an informed decision about what you might want to major in. Um, many students double major, um, major and minor. So there will be a lot of options for you and you'll work with a faculty advisor to help you with that. Um, and you don't have to be declared upon admittance. So um, we actually prefer students wait to declare until um, they're 
second semester of their first year after they have taken a class already in the subject material that they um, are looking into studying. So why a woman's college? Um, here's some stats on that, but um, personally, I loved attending Salem. Um, it was very empowering and really did prepare me for self-advocacy um, post-grad. Um, and I was very introverted, so it was great for me to be immersed in that type of culture and really be able to acclimate well with one-on-one -on -one personalized attention from your professors um, and staff on campus. But even if you are a little bit more extroverted and you really want to just grab hold of all these leadership positions, it is a very student-led campus as well. Um, and we are very inclusive. Um, despite the all women's title that we have, we do have students who identify as non-binary um, and others, um, gender identities, and we also have a lot of diversity socioeconomically as well as uh, racially and culturally. So we were founded in 1772, so we are the oldest women's college um, still running. Um, and we also um, have 100% acceptance rate into law school right now and 89.6 acceptance rate into medical school and health related programs. Um, and we are the only liberal arts college dedicated to elevating and expanding women in health leadership. So going back to what health leadership is, we're preparing students to go into health careers, but not just like medical school as it may seem as a baseline, but if you're interested in business, you will help you get to a path where you can maybe start a business for um, outsourcing PPE or founding a nonprofit organization for underprivileged populations to get them um, sufficient access to health care. So there are a lot of different um, careers that you can go into with a health leadership focus. It doesn't just have to be medical school. And again, here's a short slide or a short list. So you're going to have a first year seminar, and that's what I was talking about earlier. Your faculty advisor is going to be able to help you decide what path is gonna be right for you at Salem. Um, and then when you declare your major, you'll get another faculty advisor within that specific um, major and department who will help you with a four-year plan. So we have a lot of internship opportunities for students both on and off campus um, in the local Winston-Salem area and in the surrounding cities. Um, so we have internships with Lake Forest, medical clinics, Novant Health, nonprofit organizations, you name it, we have it somewhere for you. So our new majors in health leadership. So we have health sciences, which is your typical science track, um, getting ready for med school, health humanities, which can prepare you for something in public health, um, health advocacy, um, and humanitarian systems prepares you for careers um, in humanitarianism, um, governmental careers, nonprofit, and the like. Um, and then health communication and data visualization will prepare you to go into research fields having to do with data collection, um, marketing campaigns, um, and communicating uh, real, world real world data um, to the community like they did with COVID. So here, um, oh, and we also have the minor for, um, the Spanish minor for medical um, professions. Um, and this is a list of our majors. Um, like I said, many students double major, um, major and minor. Um, so you have the whole gamut here. So learning outside of the classroom, um, study abroad is very popular at our institution. Um, you have to complete an internship in order to graduate um, and have a service learning course. And you can also cross register at Wake Forest um, for no extra tuition. And that's right up the road from us about 10, 15 minutes away. Um, so we actually have something called the Lucy Rose Center for Global Leadership and Career Innovation on campus. Um, and it's a hub for students to get guidance, creating um, resumes, applying to grad school, specialty programs, jobs um, right after they graduate. Um, or while they're a student getting internships, um, as well as the study abroad um, options that we have. And that's just a little bit of what um, the Lucy Rose Center is able to help students with. So we have six um, Division Three sports. Here's a quick list. Um, we have 30 plus student organizations. Um, a lot of our students are involved in these clubs and hold leadership positions, and this is um, we still have a lot of clubs and organizations that aren't on this list. And you can create your own if it's something that we don't have that you're interested in. 
So to apply, you just need to submit an application. We do Common App if you're a North Carolina resident, we do CFNC, or you can go onto our website and click on our application, which is free. Um, we'll also need a high school transcript, a teacher recommendation, um, an essay portion if you don't apply using Common App. We are test optional right now and we are um, rolling admissions. So if you want to apply and or possibly still commit um, past that May 1st deadline, that's totally okay. Um, so we are more affordable than you think. We have merit scholarships um, that'll vary based on um, your GPA. And then we have a number of full tuition scholarships and music scholarships and art scholarships. Um, we recommend that you apply early for those um, for deadlines. We also have an articulation agreement with North Carolina Community Colleges for even for easy transfer of credits. And if you bring in outside scholarships to Salem, those will be added onto whatever aid you may receive um, from us along with FAFSA. And then we also have Salem College Promise for those who are Pell eligible North Carolina residents and their EFC is um, zero to 5,000 on FAFSA. So here's my information down at the bottom, Alyssa Bozak, and then um, just general admissions, email and phone number. So if you need anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. And um, I look forward to talking with y'all sometime. All right, thank you, Salem College. We will now have Western Colorado University. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Brianna Clark and I am excited to tell you a little bit about what Western Colorado University has to offer. Uh, first and foremost, just a little bit about our location. We are located in Gunnison, Colorado, which is right in the heart of the Colorado Rockies, about three and a half hours southwest from Denver. Our students are surrounded by all things Colorado adventure, including hiking, fishing, camping, skiing, snowboarding, anything and everything that has to do with the outdoors our students love. If you yourself have never had the opportunity to try one of those outdoor experiences, that's absolutely okay. We have our Wilderness Pursuits office on campus that rents out equipments for our students to be able to try all of those different kinds of adventures, as well as we offer uh, multiple excursions throughout the year to go out and try some of those uh, exciting opportunities. More than just offering our students a chance for uh, outdoor recreation, the outdoor laboratory around us in the surrounding valley offers some really great educational opportunities for our students. 80% of the lands around us are public owned, which is how our students are able to get out and quite literally get their hands dirty, uh, taking water samples from the river, digging in an archaeological dig site that's near campus, as well as practicing some of those recreation outdoor education um, things and applying it more into a business and future career sense. So we like to call it nature's best classroom. Western Colorado University is a public university, but we are on the smaller side of things. We have about 3,000 students in our undergraduate population, which means our average class size at Western is about 16 students. But we do promise you would never have a lecture hall with more than 66 students in it at any given time. This means that your professors are gonna to get to know you on a first name basis two weeks into freshman year. They're also gonna know that you're coming from out of state and are gonna take a little extra effort to make sure you're finding your home away from home on our beautiful college campus. Along with your professors being able to call on you anytime you raise your hand and ask a question, it also lends itself really well to lots of hands-on learning-based uh, projects and applications within the classroom. So it is not just lecture all the time. We have over 100 different programs at Western, um, but our most popular ones include business administration, environment and sustainability, recreation, outdoor education, biology, uh, elementary education, and we have growing programs in both mechanical engineering and computer science. But are actually our most popular major for incoming freshmen is undecided undeclared. So for our students who are not 100% sure what they want to do with the rest of their life, they go into what we call our exploratory program. And that's exactly what they do. They explore their options until they find a homework assignment they actually want to complete, and then work with our advisors to turn that homework assignment into a career. Part of the college experience is not just what's happening in the classroom, but also what's taking place outside of the classroom. With that, we have over 50 different clubs and organizations, as well as a whole bunch of athletic opportunities for our students to get involved. For our athletics, we have NCAA Division Athletics, and then we also have Mountain Sports, Club Sports, and Intramurals. Uh, within our clubs and organizations, they are all student-started and student-led. So is at some point in time, a student on campus said, we need to have a knitting club, and they made it happen. 
We also have programs within our art, music, and theater departments, and you do not have to be music or theater majors to be involved in those programs. We are dedicated to the success of our students at Western and have a whole host of opportunities available for our students to seek guidance and advising and help along the way uh, during their college admissions experience. We uh, um, have career services, academic advisors, and disability services, as well as tutoring, but I would like to focus on our EPIC mentors here for just a second. Our EPIC mentors stands for Experienced Peers Initiating Connections. Every incoming student at Western is assigned this EPIC mentor, who is an upperclassman student who survived freshman year themselves. Um, they are assigned to our incoming students for an entire first year. So not just a couple weekends or even just a first week of classes, but a whole two semesters. I want to touch base on the affordability of Western. Even though we are a college out of state, we have some great opportunities for our students. If you are looking at going out of state, especially Colorado, uh, Western is one of your more affordable options with our total annual cost for an out of state student coming in at just under 33,000. We also um, do not have additional fees like parking or uh, additional fees like that. Freshmen are allowed to have vehicles on campus. And this is before we're able to apply any kind of academic merit scholarships for our students. Every student who applies and is accepted to Western is automatically considered for a merit scholarship based off your cumulative weighted GPA. If you have at least a 3.35 GPA or higher, you'll automatically be considered for this base in merit scholarship, which is about $8,000, uh, cutting tuition by almost in half for you as an out-of-state student. The higher your GPA, the more scholarship dollars from there. We also have a whole bunch of other scholarships available for students to apply for uh, as they are attending and current students at Western. We would love for you to come on out and check out Western for yourself. If you could come in person, you can go to western.edu slash visit to schedule a campus visit or sign up for one of our preview day options. We always have two in the fall and two in the spring. We also have a bunch of virtual recruitment opportunities where you can see campus uh, from a virtual setting. And you can see those events by going to western.edu slash recruitment events. Really quick, just touching base on what and how to apply to Western. We like to keep it as simple as possible for you. We are on a rolling admissions basis, which means that you can apply at any point in time. We need you to submit either our Western application or the common application, as well as your high school transcripts. We're test optional, so send those scores if you have it. Any student, again, who has a 3.25 GPA or higher is automatically accepted. Students below that, we recommend just filling out and submitting an essay. My contact information is on the screen. Thanks so much for joining us and hope you enjoy the rest of the presentation. Thank you, Western Colorado University. We will now have Southeastern Community College. Does everyone see my screen? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm Julia Roberts and I'm a counselor here at Southeastern Community College and we welcome you to this session. There we go, sorry. Um, we Southeastern Community College is located in Whiteville, North Carolina. Uh, we are just one hour drive to Wilmington and the beautiful beaches in North Carolina and one hour drive from Myrtle Beach. It's a great location. We have occupational and liberal arts curriculum degrees, diplomas and certificates and a wide range of continuing education classes. We are opening doors to opportunities this year. Uh, we have um, over 250 scholarships ranging from $500 to $2,500. And um, scholarships this year total over $200,000. Um, so, and tuition is just $76 per credit hour. So that comes out for to just about $1,000 um, for tuition and fees for each semester. The deadline to apply for scholarships for fall semester is March 31st, so we invite you to go ahead and apply to Southeastern and uh, do that scholarship application online on, at our website. You can search for scholarship application or call our financial aid office, which is um, the number is given to you on the screen there. 
We have great transfer degree programs. You see the picture there of our students who uh, transferred last year um, and signs holding signs where they'll be going. We have the associate in arts and associate in science degrees to prepare you to transfer to a four-year college or university while saving money. The teacher preparation um, program majors are designed so students can transfer to university for a bachelor degree in education. And you can complete these transfer degrees online or on our campus. Plus, we have guaranteed admission agreements with several North Carolina universities. These are our career technical education programs, um, prepare you for a career after two years. Um, you see there um, we have agribusiness technology where you'll learn about farm and nursery operations and animal science. New in the fall semester for us is automotive systems technology. Um, if you love cars and like to work in the automotive industry, this is a great degree for you. We have broadcast production technology where you will learn camera operations, script writing, and audio mixing to work in the radio, television, or video fields. Um, cosmetology includes not only hair design, but also skin and nail care. Medical office administration includes medical billing and coding. And business administration, early childhood education, criminal justice and information technology are all degrees that may complete it either online or on our campus. Many of our associate and applied science degrees also have four year transfer options. Nursing and healthcare are very popular at Southeastern Community College. We have a great medical laboratory technology program. MLTs are responsible for disease and cancer research and our graduates are eligible for national certification. Nursing is also a popular program at SCC. We offer both the associate and diploma programs in nursing to prepare students to take the state board to be an RN or an LPN. Through continuing education, you can take one semester classes such as EMT and pharmacy technology. We have lots of opportunities for student involvement at SCC. Our athletics includes both um, softball and division two NJCAA baseball. We have beautiful baseball and softball fields on our campus for these sports. So those games are a lot of fun to go to. We also have a great ambassador program, student government association that you can be, um, come involved in as well as numerous clubs and organizations. SEC welcomes you and we hope you will um, take steps to attend SEC next year. These are the four easy steps. Apply to SEC at our website. Uh, it is a free application. Um, complete your residency determination. As was mentioned earlier, that's uh, required all over North Carolina. Um, one tip on that, please don't leave any blanks when you're doing your residency application. Um, request your official high school transcripts be sent to SEC following your high school graduation. And then visit or call Southeastern Community College's Student Services Office um, to get set up to register for classes. I have our phone number there. And um, again, my name is Julia Roberts and I look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Southeastern Community College. We will round out our night with North Carolina State University. All right, hello everyone. My name is Lucas Weir. I'm an admissions counselor in our Office of Undergraduate Admissions at NC State University. Um, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, so who are we? Uh, NC State is the largest public university in the state of North Carolina. We have about 36,000 total students and around 25,000 of these students make up our undergraduate population. Um, we're lucky enough to have students from all 100 counties here in North Carolina, students from all across the United States and about 120 different countries around the world. Um, our campus is located in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, Raleigh is the capital of the state of North Carolina and provides many social as well as professional benefits for our students. Um, on the professional side, Raleigh is a major city with companies such as IBM, Red Hat, and Cisco looking to hire NC State students um, and offer them internships while they're here on campus. Um, on the social side, Raleigh has everything from concert venues, parks, museums, art galleries, you name it. 
Um, it truly is a great city to explore if you're looking to get off campus for a little bit. Um, research is a large part of who we are as a university. Um, we are a public research intensive university, which basically means we offer research opportunities for our undergraduate students. Um, as you can see on our screen, um, since 2019, um, we have raised over 373 million um, and spent them on research here at the university. We have over 700 student organizations across our campus. Um, so we are a very large university, uh, but these student organizations really help our students find their niche within the larger Wolfpack community. Um, they range from everything from athletic clubs, student leadership, student leadership organizations, as well as multicultural student organizations. Um, so you really can find where you fit in here at NC State. Um, and if you are interested in studying abroad, we offer over 230 study abroad programs across the university. Um, our most popular destination for study abroad is the Prague Czech Republic. And this is home to the NC State European Center, basically an NC State satellite campus in Prague, which is really cool. Um, the great thing about our study abroad program, though, is just how flexible it is. You can study abroad for a whole year, a whole semester, um, two weeks. You can, just, you can just do a summer study abroad program. It is completely up to you. Right. We offer over 100 different majors and minors across 10 colleges here at NC State. Um, listed here on the screen are our top five most popular academic programs. We are a STEM-based institution, um, so many of our students are pursuing a degree in the STEM field, um, but all of our programs here at NC State are amazing. Um, the Exploratory Studies program is our undecided program. Um, it is advising intensive, so you meet with an advisor pretty frequently, and they help take your passions and interests in life and apply that to a major here at NC State. Um, you apply directly to the program you are interested in when you're applying to NC State. Um, so on your application, you will list your first choice major as well as your second choice major. Um, and if you are admitted, uh, you will begin directly in the program that you were admitted into. Um, so a little bit about dates and deadlines. Um, we have two application windows here at NC State. We have the early action application and the regular decision application. We encourage you to apply early action if you can. Um, this ensures that you re will receive priority consideration when it comes to scholarships and housing. If you are interested in one of our studio-based majors, this includes graphic design, architecture, things like that, you must apply early action. And the same goes for our students who are interested in the Honors and Scholars Program. You must apply early action as well. Um, the deadline for early action is November 1st with the notification date of January 30th. Um, if you can't apply early action, that's totally okay. We do offer the regular decision window. Um, the application deadline for this is January 15th with a notification date of March 30th. And no matter when you apply to NC State and when you receive your admission, um, you must confirm your enrollment by May 1st. Uh, so what makes a complete application to NC State? Um, you Obviously the application itself, you can apply through the Common App or the Coalition App. We don't have a preference. Um, you'll then pay, pay the $85 application fee, um, submit your official high school transcript, um, and then you'll submit your SAT or ACT scores. As for the 2023 admission cycle, we will be requiring you to submit those scores as a part of your application. Uh, so as we look for when reviewing your application, our office conducts a holistic review of every application. Uh, this means we look at more than just one factor. We look at a whole host of factors that contribute to who you are as a student inside and outside of the classroom. Um, one factor is academic achievement. Obviously, good grades are important when you're applying to college. We want to see A's and B's, mostly A's, and then also that you're taking a competitive course curriculum. So you're taking those honors AP, IB courses that are offered at your high school. Um, as I mentioned before, we do look at your ACT and ACT scores. Um, we do super score, um, so you don't have to do that yourself. We do it as an office um, as you submit them. And we do look at the interest in the program that you are admitted into or applying for. Um, we want to see students, you know, who are taking a competitive course curriculum that kind of tailors towards the coursework they'll take here at NC State, as well as like having jobs, internships, or doing outside involvement that show your interest in that major. Um, kind of going along with that, we look at your accomplishments and involvement outside of the classroom. This can be anything from sports, clubs, honor societies, internships, you name it. We want to get to know you as a person outside of the four walls of your classroom. And we understand that not everyone comes from the same background, not everyone is afforded the same opportunities when it comes um, to you know, how you grew up. So we definitely take this, take this into account um, when reviewing your application. At the end of the day, this all culminates into your individual story because at the end of the day, uh, you're more than just a GPA, you're more than just an application number. We wanna to get to know you as a person. I mean, the essay and short answer questions really help us get to do that. If you wanna stay up to date with all things NC State admissions, uh, feel free to follow us on all of our social media accounts listed on the screen. Um, if you want to uh, register for a campus visit, you can do that at the link provided. If you wanna learn more about NC State admissions, 
um, go to that admissions undergraduate admissions website listed on the screen. Thank you. All right, thank you, NC State. I'd love if everyone could come back on screen as we can have a uh, quick Q and A. All right. So our first question is, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? We'll start with Durham Technical Community College. Okay, well, we will, as we wait for Durham Technical Community College to come back, Alamance Community College, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? Thank you so much for that question. I would say, even from uh, experience um, going to college uh, would be to do your shopping online, like check out different universities that have catch your attention. And not only that, check the programs that are uh, available at that university. Not all universities cater to the same industries and they have different strengths. So depending on what you have interest on, just inquire and ask questions whenever you um, are um, talking directly to the admissions office, or if you're wanting to do a career assessment before you actually make a decision, inquire with the uh, Student Success uh, Center or Student Guidance, because those tools are there for a reason. All right, Salem College, what advice would you give? Um, I would definitely say don't sell yourself short. Um, if you have schools that you consider reach schools, apply to them anyway, because um, you never know where you might go and what you might get offered as far as aid goes. Um, so definitely apply to whatever schools you want to, want to apply to, because um, the answer is always no if you never apply. So. All right. uh, Western Colorado University, your advice? Yeah, uh, my advice is more on the side of organization and uh, processing. And I always encourage my students to apply to your top three to five choices, whatever those happen to be, before Thanksgiving of your senior year. Uh, that way you can kind of roll into the holidays knowing that at least that part of the paperwork and the process is complete and you're just waiting for acceptance letters and award letters at that point in time. Um, but it helps with a little bit of the stress relief and then being able to focus in on scholarship applications at that point too. Okay, thank you. Southeastern Community College, your advice? Um, I would say ask a lot of questions and also um, maybe do a career assessment. Um, think about a little more about careers list um, and match it with your major, like um, Alamance Community College said, you know, match that with your major and then find out where the schools are that offer that major. Okay. Uh, North Carolina State University, what do you, what is your advice? My biggest piece of advice would be to tour. Um, especially if you choose a four-year institution, because while academics are definitely important, you will be living on campus most likely, or just be spending a lot of time on campus. Uh, so you want to pick a place that you feel at home that you really connect with. So definitely tour, kind of get the feel for the place for yourself. Okay, thank you. And Durham Technical University, uh, sorry, Durham Technical Community College, what is your advice? Make sure you tour, do your research, make sure you go to a school because you want to go to and not your parents want to go to. Do your research on all the majors, um, statistics of crime rates, uh, if you're going to a four-year dormitories, the whole nine yards, you know, don't go in blindsided, know what you're getting into. Um, that's my advice. All right. So we have about two minutes left and I would be remiss if I didn't ask you all this question. What's one thing you want students to remember about your school? So Durham Technical Community College, would you mind starting us off? Sure. So you're looking at small classroom sizes and the teachers uh, have that one on one relationship with students. So if the student may be missing classes, the, the teachers don't mind giving you a courtesy call to say, hey, where are you? So um, just remember, you know, we're a family, we're home, we're definitely gonna do wellness checks. If we think that, you know, you're lacking in the area or you need some growth, we definitely will pull you to the side and say, hey, I suggest you do this. So I like that family touch. So definitely family oriented. Alamance Community College, what's one thing? Thank you so much. I would say that um, one thing that we want people to remember about ACC is the fact that uh, not only do we have like uh, smaller class settings, but we also have uh, co-agreements and bilateral agreements with all 16 public universities in North Carolina, and we can help you get connected and have a seamless transition. Okay, thank you. Salem College. 
Um, I would definitely say that remember that our class sizes are very small so that we have students who get involved on many, many things on campus. So we have students who are athletes and RAs and double majoring. Um, so you can really get highly involved on our campus, no matter um, what you're looking into uh, studying. So, <laughs> uh, Western Colorado University. Yeah, uh, I would say for Western, we're an adventure oriented campus, both outside of the classroom in the Valley, but also as far as taking calculated educated risks with uh, what you want to study, what you want to get involved in and just trying something new. Southeastern Community College. Oh, we're very personalized here with small classes also, and uh, we have a great retention rate, a great retention program that we call, that we use here so that we can stay in touch with you and, and keep you on track with your major. All right. Uh, NC State, you mind closing us out? As cheesy as this sounds, um, when you are admitted to NC State, you really do join a Wolfpack. Um, you see that every day on campus, especially during game days of football games, basketball games. Um, so it really is a community, the community that is unmatched. I'm going to hope you all decide to become a part of it one day. All right. Thank you, panelists. And thank you all for joining us. When you close this window, window, there will be a link to a very quick five question survey. And we'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide. Um, we encourage you to check back to the schedule and sign up for more sessions. You'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all the other session recordings at strivescan.com forward slash Carolinas. Thank you all.